When we talk about Valkyr, we mostly talk about Hysteria and Warcry builds. Let's change that on this video. Today we will try to create a new meta for this frame which you can enjoy in higher level missions, and we will be using her Paralysis ability. Her third ability may not be appealing at first glance, but it does have some unique features which will change your perception of this ability. First off, the ability can trigger finisher kills which will be good for a marked for death setup, but we will not be discussing that on this video, as I'm currently waiting for the tweaks that the developer will make on this Helminth ability. For now, let's focus on a different setup which will not focus on finisher kills. Instead, we will be taking advantage of the feature wherein enemies will be susceptible to stealth damage multipliers from melee attacks for the duration of the stun. Also, we will be using her prolonged paralysis augment which increases the stun duration, and slowly pull enemies towards this frame when used. The problem is, this ability does consume shield per cast and in the past, we need to have redirection or any shield regeneration in our setup to make this build efficient in real missions. Well, that's in the part now. With the Helminth system, we can easily regain shield by infusing pillage on Volkia. Now we can just infuse rebuild shields and call it day. But why stop there when we can infuse pillage which does not only gives shields, but also will lower the shield and armor on enemies. It does also cleanses status effect from you and your allies so, pillage is definitely a no-brainer better option. Ok, now let's talk about the build. The mod setup I'm using on this paralysis build is a balance between power strength, range, and survivability. 190% range means I can have 19 meters radius on my paralysis ability. In my case, I don't usually stay in one spot. While playing with this frame, this build allows you to go in places where you want and then pull a crowd of enemies with your third ability. These three umbral mods are also crucial for this build, since it allows us to survive without using our hysteria ability. By the way, you can use hysteria with this build but only to regenerate life or be invulnerable for a couple of seconds. The energy drain of this mod setup is horrible. And if you want to use her hysteria often, then you will need to remove transient fortitude and replace it with primed continuity. But honestly, that won't be necessary with the amount of survivability that this build has. Plus you can always cast hysteria as a safety net any time. Lastly, I added adaptation so enemies won't melt my shields easily. This way, I won't need to cast pillage multiple times before casting paralysis. One bonus tip, you can use hysteria and cast pillage to gain shields without losing it fast. Now I did tune this build so I can use up some of the best melees in the game when it comes to a prolonged paralysis combo. The first one is the Prismobex with the Entropy Detonation Augment. The idea is simple, pull targets with prolonged paralysis, then wipe then do a ground finisher to proc this augment's effect and blow up everything that you have pulled. I did give this melee weapon viral since there's no need to lower the defenses of enemies as pillage can easily strip some armor and shields. Viral does give a massive boost in terms of damage, especially when you have that 700% bonus damage coming from the stealth damage multiplier. Prismobex can only be obtained from the Void Trader, or by buying one from other players. If you don't have this melee weapon, then you can always use Venka Prime. Thematically, this is the best suited for Volkia. Cats with sharp claws are as deadly as the marked for death nerf. Well, not really, but it gives the job done. Venka Prime is amazing since it does deal extra damage because of its higher combo count, and every slash ground finisher damage it deals is nasty enough to leave a pile of dead bodies lying on the ground. This build may not be as appealing as Hysteria, or even the most popular Warcry Cat Lady, but I assure you, this build does get the job done and it's both fun and effective to use against high level enemies. Remember that the best way to enjoy this game is to not focus on the meta, but to always have fun on anything, even the silliest build that you can think of. Thank you so much for watching, and I just hope that you are enjoying the content that I'm currently providing. To those guys who are asking if this will be a Helminth channel, then my answer is no, people tend to forget sometimes that I just cover what I love and share it with the community, please do check out my next video as I will be having yet another non-meta Helminth combo and, I will be announcing the winner for the Cyberpunk 2077 giveaway, plus Frost and Ember giveaway, thank you so much for watching, squad leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. This is the future.